As humans, we have embarked on a journey of playing the role of creators, breeding animals to bring forth extraordinary hybrids. While the cautionary tales of the Jurassic Park movies have reminded us of the potential dangers that come with such endeavors, let us currently revel in the delight of observing adorable creatures and hold on to the hope that they remain peaceful and free from any inclination to rebel or pose a threat. Behold these marvelous existing hybrid animals, a testament to our imaginative pursuits. Number 8. Jeep Yes, the Jeep is an all-new hybrid of gas-guzzling supercar, with a groundbreaking electric engine that's, uh, never mind wrong Jeep. This Jeep is a hybrid of a goat and a sheep, which is finite guests can't drive it though. <coughs> the Jeep is one of the rarest animals on this earth, and all because of one unfortunate truth they are impossible to breed naturally. In fact, most Jeep are still born before birth, making them statistically unlikely to ever be born in the first place. But in the rare cases in which they are born, the animal can be a sheep, a goat, or a hybrid of both. While most hybrids tend to be a pretty clear mix of both parents, the Jeep seems to be a genetic gamble every single time. Due to the obvious difficulties in producing and delivering the Jeep, very few have ever been reported as being successfully breed. However, there are cases where it has happened, so we know that it's not totally impossible, just very impossible. Come to think of it, it's Mission Impossible, GOAT Protocol. Number 7. Mueller. Ducks are already such unusual animals on their own that it feels pretty strange to imagine it as part of a hybrid. Well, Imagine no more here, we have one of the most interesting animals you'll ever see, the Mueller. The Mueller is the product of a Toby or domestic duck mating with the domestic Mallard. Generally, this is not an animal you'll see out there in nature, which isn't entirely surprising in the world of hybrid animals. The Mueller is an animal bred for a specific purpose, meat and fudra. Well, we're not going to delve into the questionable ethics of fudra duck meat is generally considered to be a popular delicacy all around the world, and apparently so is Mueller meat. However, these animals are sterile upon birth, which makes it somewhat tricky to keep the species going without the use of artificial insemination. What a job, inseminating ducks. The Mueller is regularly bred for meat purposes, although it's highly likely that most people have never even seen one, much like Frankenstein kept his monster in a castle. They keep this animal, all, on the water. Oh, leave me alone. I'm no duck expert. Number six, Zozo. While America can have its beefalo and Europe can have its beefalo light, Tibet has decided to follow the trend of mixing cattle with other animals. But as all countries do it, decided to put its own flair on the mix. They used a yak. While most Western countries have farm merit animals like cows and pigs and chickens, Tibet has a whole other kind of farm wildlife. Yaks, it seems, are probably the most common kind of farmyard wildlife you could hope to see, as well as the zoo. The zoo is a mix of yak and domestic cattle, and it's actually an economic miracle. Unlike many cattle, the zoo doesn't require the kind of attention that others do, making it pretty cheap to look after, and as a benefit, it turns out to be a productive and robust animal in return. Not too bad then. At around 1,300 pounds and 5.5 feet in height, nobody can claim that the zoo is a light or small animal, but it's a pretty exciting hybrid. It seems that cattle hybrids work the same way as Sordo. Wherever it is, it's a product of that region can't wait for the San Francisco Zoo. Number 5. Tiger. If the liger is the result of a female tiger and a male lion, then the tiger must be the opposite, right? Yes? And believe it or not, they're not at all like their genetic opposite, at least not in personality, while the liger is generally gentle and even tempered to a point anyway. The Tigan is very much not. In fact, the Titan is pretty much what you'd expect from the offspring of two of the jungle's most legendary predators. Aggressive, dangerous, and very violent, and perhaps surprisingly, the Tigan experiences depression quite strongly due to the conflicting behavioral genes that come with its parents' DNA. The lion is social, the tiger is a loner, the Tigan, like many teenagers, just doesn't know who it is. It wants to be with others, but also just wants to be alone. 
The Tigan is a beautiful animal, but it's also an example of the dangers of hybrid animals. What happens when two animals with different behaviors are forced to mate? You get an animal that needs both resulting in some severe depression. Number four, Jaglion. Jaglion, seriously, all right, the Jag Lion is a hybrid of, do I even have to say it? It's the result of mating a male Jaguar and a female Lion, which is beyond rare in fact. There have only been two reported specimens in history. That's more like uber rare. Hi, Smoochie. I love you. In 2006, Ontario's Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary celebrated the birth of two jaguar lions named Jazahar and Tsunami. However, like most hybrids, these births were the result of an unplanned, uh, dates night between a jaguar and a lioness that had been hand-raised together. Both Jaglian lions look utterly different from the other with Jazahar inheriting her father's malaise's gene and Tsunami inheriting his mother's spotted genes. This is a pretty significant change from how most hybrids work, which tend to combine the two genes in the child's DNA, while it's most likely that there have been other Jaglian born throughout history. Only two have been reported in the whole of the 20th century, making this possibly the rarest of all the hybrids, or maybe I'm just overhyping it, who knows? Really? Number three, Groller Bear. It seems impossible to imagine that the polar bear and the grizzly bear could even produce a child, and yet we find ourselves on the peak of what is impossible. Once again, the Groller Bear is a rare hybrid that has been reported both in captivity and in the wild. While the existence of the Groller Bear had always been suggested, it wasn't until 2006 that it was confirmed. After one of these unique animals had been shot by a hunter in the Canadian Arctic, a DNA test was underway. It quickly verified that this was a legitimate hybrid. Polar bears and grizzlies can indeed breed. Since that discovery, eight hybrids have been confirmed with all of them descending from the very same female polar bear. That last fact makes it hard to tell if this is a sign of the species barriers crumbling or if this female polar bear just had a type. Either way, good for her. The Groller bear is one of the few animal hybrids that does not require captivity or artificial insemination. It seems like this is just something that will happen out in nature. Well, for one polar bear, at least. Number two, the Kama. Camels, llamas. What's the difference? Well, they're two different animals, so there's quite a lot of difference but they share enough genetics that a hybrid is very, very possible. Introducing the Kama, the result of breeding a male camel and a female llama. The Kama was first developed in 1997. Yes. Dubai to produce an animal capable of producing more wool than the llama, while also having the size and strength of a camel and a good cooperative temperament. Science man, how much do you want from a genetically edited animal? By 1998, the first Kama had been born, but he was considered to be a disappointment given his terrible and uncooperative behavior. Still, the scientists pushed on with their plans producing five Kama by 2008. Thankfully, for those that poured their money into this plain God-type exercise, most of the Kama turned out to achieve the wool production they were hoping for. Today, the Kama is still being used for wool production in Dubai and is considered a fully domesticated animal. Number one, Zorse. Zonkey are cute and all, but Zorse the source is straight up cool. The Zorse is of course, the hybrid offspring of a male, zebra, and a female horse, and I dare anybody to say they're not incredibly beautiful animals. Like the Zonkey, the source has clear genetic traits of both its parents, the strong muscular body of a Taurus mother, and the striped texture of its zebra father. But thanks to its zebra, DNA, the source is pretty strong and almost entirely immune to the kinds of diseases that usually would afflict ordinary horses. However, like most hybrids, the horse is sterile, which means every single one is a genetic rarity. While it's possible for some hybrid animals to be created in the wild, this impressive animal is one of the few that cannot be created without some kind of human intervention. This horse is a beautiful animal and one of the most popular hybrid animals in the world. Often, you'll find them as riding animals 
or just in one of those questionable world's weirdest animals type circuses. Please don't go to one of those. Have you ever seen any of these animals in person? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.